Hello everyone there, this is Showa. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. Um, today I'll be reviewing the, uh, well, I'll be reacting to the Sumo Preview te teaser trailer of um, Preludes with Wisdom. Uh, so let's get started.虚弥是崇尚智慧的国度国家的种种事物如今正由教令院来处理正如道七篇中八重神子所提供的情报知识在虚弥是作为一种资源来被管理而用来实现这一点的是由神之心所运作的由前代草神大慈树王所留下的
where you've got one uh, governing body uh, broken into two branches or Inazuma where you've got the Inazuma with the three branches but then you've also got Watasumi which is its own separate culture and separate nation in a sense even though it's technically under the um, under the domain ruling of the Ra uh, Raiden Shogun it's not technically a part of her domain and then you also have smaller islands that aren't within the uh, protection of the Shogun as well so this is interesting because here we've got mercenary groups, we've got desert folk, we've then got, um, I assume, jungle and um, scholar folks as well. The animal types are also quite unique as well. So here we see that the due to the um, rainforest's um, humidity, we have um, the perfect habitat for uh, fungus. So fungus has developed its own sentient life forms. So we've got these floating ones. I think we've already fought some of these in the chasm. I think the blue ones are already in the chasm. These ones haven't appeared. Like I don't know if these actually attack us, but this this will be interesting to see if they if, um, react like the dendro slimes, where they hide in the, the soil and then just reappear. This is the one. I wonder if this is a world boss though, because it's by itself and it's in this kind of arena as well. I do like the design. Um, you can see that here, for example, you've got this, um, it's like an oyster mushroom. Uh, I don't know if people in the West have had oyster mushrooms, but they're like that. That design here is like an oyster mushroom. And I like how the, the mushroom kind of spans down to its feet and then it's got this like, moss growing around it as well. Well, I can't call it a tiger, but I'm not too sure it's a lion, but maybe it's a tiger because of this kind of stripish design. Now this, this reminds me of the anime Toroko, um, the one where it's all about um, rare exotic animals that are great for food. <laughs> so there was one episode where they had to go and hunt down um, like a giant mammoth, enter its body and get this piece of jeweled meat. Um, so this kind of reminds me of, like, of an ingredient that you would hunt down to make really delicious meals. Like when you kill um, the, the boar, you're going to get meat and mushrooms because it's got the mushrooms on it. So these apparently set from ancient civilization in the desert, but here we've got a crossbow. And the interesting thing about them is if they are settlers, are they going to be similar to the treasure hoarders that we fight? Um, what I mean is, are we going to be fighting them? They're not masked, um, so maybe we don't fight these people. Maybe they are part of the organization uh, where we had that five-star lady um, who's also kind of similarly in color. We also get some more rugged characters now as well. It also makes me wonder if they're the Adventurers Guild or some sort, but they say they're mercenaries, so maybe we'll be doing missions for these guys. Gugunbi,在丛林之外的广袤沙漠中,同样也埋着许多过去的伤痕和遗产。有守卫着那些被黄沙淹没的古代秘密的超文明机器,也有受到这些事物影响而异化的凶猛野兽。杜金旅团也掌握了一部分古代文明的遗产。作为，Eremites，为应对危机时最后的威慑手段，具体是什么？就让我们拭目以待吧。主角在虚弥的旅行同样会邂逅各种各样的伙伴。作为智慧论派的
Yeah, so the mercenary from the Emirate, Eremites. So she's the leader. I like her design. She's got this really stylish gauntlet on one arm. Like here, we've got the claws on it. It makes me wonder if this is mechanical though, because uh, the claws are very thin. But it could just be that it's just by design and it's, um, this is actually her full arm. And then her hair. Is that her hair? No, her hair is the back part of the yellow. And then this is the scarf that shrouds her. And then we've got the pyro vision here. So I wonder if she's close quarter combat. <laughs> Nilo, who went off the beaten path. So she herself is very unique. So in a land of knowledge, she decided to pursue the arts, which is more expressive and abstract. Now, what's interesting about her is the horns. Is this part of her costume or is this actually part of what she is as a character in the game? So what I mean by that is she's subhuman. She's not human like, um, like the normal ones we see around. She's more like um, Ganyu, uh, Yangfei, who has different type of bloodline that's running through them. And then I, I remember some people were commenting on this um, costume. Well, we'll have to see more in detail to know whether or not um, people from that region who uh, is, um, this costume is inspired by thinks that this represents her. Look. So her design also kind of reminds me of Morgana as well, because we have that scene where Morgana's dancing and she's, you know. <laughs> she is a mysterious girl, Nahida, so we don't know what faction she's from. And then we have the General Mahamatra, Sino, and other characters will also be in turn. So I don't know. So he's Electro. So I don't believe he's the Archon. The closest one that could be the Archon would also be Dendro, which would assume would be her, because she's the mysterious figure. And I don't really see a vision on her. So all I know is that she could actually be the Archon. Our first Chibi Icon. Also, this is quite interesting for the deserts as well. We see here we've got um, green in this, this desert uh, kind of um, environment, but then we see it's kind of dug into the shade, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if it's a desert, you don't really want the sun shining on you the old, all the time, so you would want some shade from time to time, and this actually makes sense as well. It'd be interesting to see because Yohoyo has this very dynamic um, day night cycle which will bring new ways of viewing all of these environments. And I want to see how they will play out with that as well. We also see that the sand is also constantly running as well in certain areas. What else is there? So here in the beginning, we see the port that I mentioned in the previous video. Here we see it's quite a small port compared to the UA. The UA is quite a large port. But we can see that the ships here are quite numerous as well. Small boats and everything. And as usual, I think we've got a few trading uh, merchants for probably food items as well. I'm not too sure about the dress. Someone's going to have to uh, point out whether or not this is um, a fusion of different types of... Um, Regional attire, I guess. This is going to be really fun to climb around. I mean, it's going to be similar to when we first climbed the large tree in Mondstadt, but this is going to be like many times larger than this. And then there's all these extending branches and different layers as well. So it's kind of interesting to see how. Within the city, you have all this beautiful architecture, but then as soon as you come out of the gates, you are exposed to more um, uh, nature. Well, not nature, I guess. It would be more shabby kind of buildings, but even then, no matter how shabby it, it looks, it's it's got this unique architecture to it. It's got these curves to it that aren't um, easy to make. Xu Mi is a 
国家的种种事务，实现这一点。So here we've got like a, it's like a kebab. <laughs> is that a dollar machine where they have the meat spinning around, and then is that the flatbread that goes with it that you just wrap around with it? We can also see that they've got these、um, large ornamental vases.、Um, these are quite similar to the ones that I usually see in Chinese restaurants, but obviously these are not in the style of the blue and white that is associated with Ming Dynasty. This is more obviously Middle Eastern, and we see some of these as well、um, nowadays、uh, in Middle Eastern culture, where they have all these large vases as well, decorative porcelain, which I believe is influenced due to Silk Road. We see bananas, some other types of fruit. We also see tea or coffee being served. Today's this kind of outside、uh, food culture. Today's this kind of outside 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 food culture. This is what this most interesting again is this this earpiece here. 虚空的系统 Yeah, Akasha says. 还有一个很有趣的点是，在须弥，大部分的人们，尤其是成年人，似乎都是不会做梦的。所以也有了须弥 People of similar dream. This guy is quite interesting as a character. His ears are very sharp, though, so it makes me wonder if they've got elf blood in them in Sumeru. Got a marketplace. Guy selling ornamental porcelain. And then someone selling bags here. Again, I really like this design of the scimitar. And then we have some armor pieces.、So、I wonder if he's a god or if he's just a traveling warrior. So here we see more of the internal village, marketplace, and food. I think this is a moral thing. Yeah, you know I mean, I can't tell if it's because the hair is covering the ear, or if they actually have pointy ears themselves. I want to say this is very Middle Eastern, but then I can't really tell. Yu Zhi Hui's symbol, and very proud. Shumi森林, hit the right place. That's all I wanted to talk about. So I talked about the monsters, I talked about the thing, I talked about the music, I talked about the people, I talked about the five new characters. I believe he's supposed to be the new one to release. He's Dendra.、Um, I don't believe he's the Archon,、um, but he's got the clover. Hmm, clover. I wonder if he's tied to Alice or is he tied to Klee. 关的皮纳里，在奥摩斯港邂逅，出身教灵院支论派的。Let me see. Anyone else got a clover on them? She hasn't. She's more desert settlers.、So、these are reminiscences of the monsters that、um, they showed the mechanical ones. She is probably hydro, I assume. Don't don't really see her vision. Then again, we didn't see her vision either. 随着旅行的继续 I like this little bell at the back. Of... 神秘少女 Her ears are the same length as Kali's. She does have these leaves as well. I don't think she's clover, but her, they're kind of reminiscent of her eyes. So maybe she's linked to Alice as well. I mean, again, Alice and Clee, their their species outlives everyone apparently. So they're really long,、um, slow age. Well, slow age. They just long, long life, I guess. I think I need to get my Clee a little sister now. <laughs> Gonna, I'm gonna definitely pull for this one. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching.、Um, uh, I don't know how useful any of my videos are, but anyway, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Got any comments or you want to add anything to what I've said? Then please leave a comment below.、Um, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.